Hi, here are the five things you need to know to make perfect muffins. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna be showing you the exact muffin recipe today. You can watch that video to grab that recipe. I'm just gonna be showing you and talking about five things, five things that you need to do to make sure they come out absolutely perfect. Tip number one, you are going to use melted butter in your streusel. I usually don't love using melted butter in any form of baking, unless super specifically called for. However, when it comes to streusel, I find that it sits and clumps a lot better on your muffin or pie or whatever you might be making if you start with melted butter. If you want, you can add cinnamon into this if you like cinnamony streusel. I'm going to keep it pretty neutral because I'm gonna be working with a bunch of different flavors in these muffins today, which you'll see. So I'm not gonna add any cinnamon in this batch. Bonus tip, always have, there's, I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of bonus tips. Bonus tip, always have your muffin tins prepared before your batter is. To prepare my muffin tin, I just run a little knob of butter into every round. I don't use muffin or cupcake liners, I just like to take them right out of the pan, so I am greasing directly in there. Tip number two, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. I know that that sounds really high, but we're only gonna bake them at that for five minutes, five minutes right in the beginning, because that initial like big burst of heat is gonna help us get those really big, beautiful muffin tops that we're looking for. So make sure your oven is preheated to 425 degrees. After five minutes of that, we're gonna bring it down to 350. Tip number three, make sure that all of your wet ingredients are at room temperature. That means your buttermilk, your sour cream, your eggs, your butter. Once we put all of these together, we want it to incorporate beautifully, quickly, and very, very easily because if you add super cold buttermilk into your warm, like warm room temperature, cream together butter and sugar mixture, it's gonna seize that up and that's not what we wanna work with at all because it's not gonna bake right and then you're not gonna have the muffins you want. So make sure everything is at room temperature. Okay, now I'm gonna get together most of this muffin batter so you don't have to wait around for that. We're gonna jump right into the next tip. We are on to tip number four, mix-ins. Okay, so mix-in is anything that you Mix in. That's gonna be your blueberries for a blueberry muffin, chocolate chips for a chocolate chip muffin, whatever you want. I am doing four different types of muffins just cause I wanna like recipe test on my own, but I thought that this was the perfect way to show you guys this little trick. It is so unbelievably useful. When you're making your muffin batter, you're gonna save a little bit of your dry ingredient. I am going to toss a little bit into each one of these. We have nice dry mix-ins that we've coated in the dry ingredient mixture. What that's gonna do is help suspend the fruit or the mix-in in in your muffin perfectly, LOL. But I always have people asking me, my blueberries always sink into my muffins, what can I do? This is what you can do. And then you're just gonna fold this in, trying of course not to break any of your fruit. I honestly don't mind if some of the fruit breaks up a little. I kind of think the streaks are pretty sometimes. So don't worry, that doesn't mean they're not gonna be delicious. Just means they're gonna be a little more tie-dye. And when you're folding, you're just going from the outside. So you're scooping all around and you're bringing it back about halfway in and just mixing it in really gently. That's what folding means, Moira Rose and David. This is tip number five. If you remember, I greased every other muffin thing. Tin, divot, I don't know. I greased every other muffin cup because muffins need space. They need a lot of space to grow and feel welcome. Okay, another bonus tip. You're gonna fill your muffin tins all the way. I know a lot of things say to do two thirds. I don't care, do it my way. Nice and big. All of these are nice and full and they are spaced out separately. So we're baking 12 muffins in 24 cups. Now it's time for our streusel. Let's not forget the piece de resistance. Okay, in five minutes, we are going to turn this 425 degree oven down to 350 degrees and let it bake for another like 15-ish minutes. You're gonna love these. Um, I don't know if you're ready. These are so beautiful. You're gonna be like, I'm not gonna be able to make those. And I'm gonna say, get out of town. I literally just told you exactly how. 
excuse me, disgusting. Didn't even cover my mouth, just called myself gross instead. Are you ready to see these muffins? You're, you're gonna make them and you're gonna thank me and you're gonna come back to this video and watch it again and give me an extra view. Get the f out, are we serious? Look at this. Look how high they are. Look how sexy that is. And I know you're saying, Irene, did you add little mini chocolate chips to the chocolate chip ones? I sure did. Look at them. They're so high and gorgeous. I did such a good job. I'm incredible. <laughs> okay, so now you guys also have the five plus a couple extra tips to make absolutely perfect bakery style, big, fluffy, huge muffin top muffins. You're gonna be the talk of the town, the bee's knees, the life of the party. The, the person everybody wants to be. Okay, I'm gonna use this one because I didn't put the streusel on good enough and I can, I can eat the ugly ones. Oh my God, it's still for sure too hot. But look, see, our fruit did not sink. She stayed up in there. It's evenly distributed, it's perfect. Go make these, go make these. Oh, okay. It was too hot. 